good team exclusive welcome back to once again the most unrealistic career mode on youtube of course as you know this is our uh, plymouth Argyle career mode um going off the last episode which was released a few days ago now uh, obviously we've been progressing through league one uh, which is quite nice obviously currently third in the third in the table played four uh one three drawn one so it's not bad we haven't lost yet if we can go for an, a complete un um unbeaten unbeat record that would be really good i can't actually see us being beaten to be fair i mean our goals our goals and everything are just just mad nobody nobody can stop us look at fucking wimbledon down there it's all just point and laugh <laughs> yeah so uh there's a few things i wanted to go through today first of all is um i've been looking at some players to sign um and yeah we need like a right back and a cdm like a proper cdm because at the moment we're playing two center mids and even though Hullet is really good the other guy is uh it's kamara and he's not so good or it's somebody else we've subbed in he's usually not quite as good so um been looking at a few other options uh, obviously right backs um rodrigo fernandez is definitely one on my radar it's uh, apparently got a lot of potential showing great potential he, he's you know sporting portuguese anybody who's like that is uh destined to be a great ronaldo bruno you know that kind of stuff so um yeah he could really could be really good he's 19 so you can't really lose too much you can't lose too much so i've been looking at possible free agents and i know free agents may not be that great but obviously we've got icons lothar mateus is definitely one i think could be uh, a really good option sent back you know he could play right back possibly he probably he could uh center mid or cdm as well so there's options uh, we've got to uh, Ren, Renal, Ren, Al, Ren Aldo, Justinho, and then we got Elijah Just. The, I mean, he's quite a good one. He plays cam, right wing, left wing, left wing, left mid. So free agents and all that could be quite a good, good option. Looking at a lot of like young options as well uh, that we could sign. He's not a bad one. Fage or Fadge. Uh, yeah, so got tons of options, tons, tons of options. There's lots of free agents that is definitely an option as well. Um, I don't want to sign too many because I think they're a bit shit, aren't they? They're a bit shit, let's face it. Um, but they could be good options as like backups. Definitely, definitely good options as backups. And yeah, obviously we've got tons of icons as well. So I'm going to try and sign a few of these possible free agents and see see what we can do. Okay, so we, we got Mateus. Uh, which is always a good option because um, we can also train him to, to be a right back if need be. So we can play in a, a, a very different positions, which is always very good. And he's, he's really cheap as well, obviously being a 16 year old, so might as well. And I saw obviously this guy, he, he looks quite good as a free agent. Schaefer? Schaefer? I don't know how you pronounce it to be honest, but uh, Hungarian, pretty sure. Free agent, 21 years old. Uh, he wants to be a prospect, that's absolutely fine. I mean, he's going to be probably rotational at best. Um, but yeah, he, I mean, as a free agent goes, he's got quite a lot of potential. I mean, he's 21, so you'd have thought it, it can't get any worse, can it? All right, sweet. So that's how the team's going to look for our first game. Obviously, most of it's the same. We've swapped out the goalkeeper for uh, Cooper, who's uh, our backups. I think it's quite important to rotate them. Also, we're going to start Mateus and Schaefer, or Schaufer, um, in the midfield with Nash replacing uh, Ronaldinho for this game. Probably do need to get a few more backup central attacking mids but i've got a few players converting so we uh should be a-okay here we go first game hopefully it should be quite a simple uh procedure just uh we just got to score loads of goals win the game easy as you like gonna feed in kaka it's got the pace got the shot there we go easy it's like playing squad battles it's almost like playing squad battles actually it pretty much is to be honest to be honest pretty much is um, I'm thinking probably once we go into the championship, I might knock the difficulty up to ultimate. I didn't really want to do that because I just feel like it's going to be horrendous. Um, but, you know, it is fairly simple, so it may be worth the challenge. It might be worth the challenge. Holy shit. Can we get a good ball in? Nope. Wait. Oh, no. On his debut as well. Can you imagine? Mateus to Beckham. Watch this. Beckham! It's like deja vu, I swear down. It's like deja vu. He's done that twice in two separate games. <laughs> I've had the same reaction as well. It's almost like this is just like a re-upload. 
<laughs> My god. What are the chances, man? Didn't have to do them like that. Oh, ruining men's careers out here, I tell you. Go on. Big boy header. Bah. Yeah, we should be winning like 3-0, to be honest. Beckham's long-range efforts, uh, the first one anyway, was a cracking shot. Um, definitely should have gone in, but he's hit the bar again. Um, and then obviously he that header should have gone in, but he's got a deformed head, so it is what it is. Great ball. Bang. Oh, it's Kaka missed it. No, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. What's he done? How has he just skied it? I mean, that's insane. It's insane. I can see I see where this game is going. Like, we're not, not taking these chances. And we're just going to, like, concede one. It's going to be a draw. It's going to be really sad. And Holy God. Thank God he missed that. Thank God he missed that. Holy shit. It's, uh, it's exactly the way I was saying. You know, we're not scoring these chances. They're just going to break on through because the AI just do AI things. And then uh, we're just going to concede. I can feel it. It's a great challenge. Eddie Nketiah to save the series. To save the series! Let's go. It's not like the series was actually in doubt at all. But let's go. Eddie Nketiah saves the uh, Plymouth Agar career mode. What a save by Cooper. Holy shit. That is insane. I don't know how it keeps getting through our defence, but... Uh... And then... Uh... Literally just a repeat of uh, that previous game against that Blackpool or something. Just crazy. Come on. Eto through last minutes of the game. Please. Yes, let's go. Sammy Eto saves the series. <laughs> Sammy Eto single-handedly saves the club. You love to see it. Holy shit. Good lord, that was a that was a tough game. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I just wasn't um, paying enough attention. But Jesus Christ, they really um they really put it to, put it to us to be to be honest. And arguably, they probably should have won it. Had more of the chances. And uh, yeah, just. I don't know. It's the way it goes, isn't it? It's the way it goes. AI can't can't tell when it's offside or not. So, big dumb AI. No, I'm gonna reject that. I mean, it, he's actually somebody I really wouldn't mind keeping hold of. He's really, really good. He made some vital saves in that uh, in that previous game. So can't can't argue with it at all. I've actually just realised I can't remember which Cooper that team were asking for. If it was for my left back or goalkeeper. Oh, too late now. <laughs> too late now. <laughs> Sucks to suck. We should be, I mean, we've got a boss team, so we're just going to quick sim it. Easy dub. Ooh! So, as it stands, we are currently winning uh, in the League One uh, standings. Plymouth, Wigham, uh, Lincoln, with uh, Accrington down in down in fourth. MK Dons down in fifth as well. Sunderland sixth. I like how it says the recommended wage, and then this this fucking Donny just comes out. It's like, yeah, one point two. Right, okay. So my plan is, and it's quite a weird plan, but I need a backup cam, and uh, I thought, why not sign Roberto Carlos and convert him to a cam? So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just gonna quick sim this game. I probably should need, probably should get some more rotational. Uh, centre backs, but we do win the game three one. So it's obviously it was pretty much a secured dub anyway. Um, so good stuff. It's another win in the bag. I mean, even though like we spent thirty nine k, that's just on wages. I think just on wages, profit two point nine million. Same mate, profit stonks. So made a few last minute. Um, we'll try. See, see what happens anyway. I've just put a few uh things through. So obviously Suzuki. Had to go for him. I mean, why not get? I mean, it's a beast car, so let, let's get him in the uh, get him in the team. Obviously, you save the Dan. See if any of those come back as interested. Or uh, then we've got um, Carl Adams from Houston Dynamo. Would actually make a really good backup centre back. To be honest, he's quite tall. He's quite quick in in respect to him being 57 rated, but uh, he's quite you know he's quite quick. This Del Pino Mago, 
dude. Uh, he looks pretty terrible, but he's just he's just a body to be put centre back at Maradona. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I've been trying to go for people that I find interesting. Um and players that I'd actually want to play with, but yeah, I don't know, it's so difficult. There's so little players that you want to like or that be willing to relocate. So yeah, I just don't know. Just don't know. Uh okay. So everybody everybody accepted. It's not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> Gonna be honest, not quite what I was expecting. Everybody but that Del Mino twat. Anyway, so Maradona accepted. Uh accept, that's fine. Got Carl Adams. 1.5, that's absolutely fine. Uh Zidane, 9k, that's absolutely fine. And Eusebio, nice, 10k. So all, all for the very lowest amount of wages, which is absolutely perfect. Cool, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's fine. At least we've got, yeah, like I say, a few more players that would be back up. Cams, centre forward, centre mids, that kind of stuff. Uh, centre backs, left back, right back. 510, that's not bad to be fair. It's 18 year old as well. He, he, I don't know if he's got that much potential, but uh, yeah, so just some more backup players in, in positions that we do need backups for. Like we don't really have enough quality cam players. Um, Jean Martinho signs for Atalanta for 28 mil. It's quite cool. Yeah, we're, we're kind of in a bit of trouble, to be honest. Obviously, international stuff and all that has uh, kind of taken a lot of our players away. So we don't have our main strength team. If anything, we're actually, it's actually looking pretty bad. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's as good as it's going to get. So um, we're just going to have to try our best. And hopefully we don't get battered. But most likely, we will. Oh, come on, whoever that is. I don't know who that is. Kamara. Come and get there, Nash. Sold him. Nketiah, <laughs> let's go. Eddie Nketiah comes to the rescue. Holy, what a strike as well. Off balance, you know, off center, all that, off everything. He just scores it because he's just a fucking beast. What? Oh, okay, it's not mine. Thank God. Thank God, it's one of theirs. <laughs> Are you kidding? I just couldn't get the ball away, man. Every time I got the ball, it just like it just like vacuumed back to the fucking AIs, man. I, I just don't get it. He's got some sort of pace behind him. I see somebody in open space. Touch. Reeves. Let's go. Big boy Reeves. No idea who this dude is, but he actually plays for Plymouth Argyle, apparently. Apparently. I knew that was going to be a penalty as soon as I did it. It sucks, man. Actually sucks. I'm thinking they're going to go... They're going to go left. I know it. They're going to go left. Yes. Changed my mind and it worked. Let's go. Psyched myself into thinking the right thing. Good crossing. Back to Reeves. No. That was his moment. He's never scored more than one goal in his entire career. That had been his, like, his all-time personal best. Oh, Suzuki. Go on. The newbie in the team. Can he get himself a goal? Can he? I mean, he tried. No way. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh, real frustrating way to lose. Real frustrating way to lose. Because just the AIs just turned on their fucking bullshit. My god, man. Like... It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter what you do. Uh, it's just frustrating that, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. We lost the game. We lost the game. The team was just tragic. We just couldn't, I just couldn't do anything, man. None of them could pass the ball more than four feet um, at any kind of speed. It was just god awful. So, yeah, we're just going to have to try and rock with this team again. Uh, we're going to do another game. Why not? Try and try and get through. We have to play a lot more of them anyway to try and actually get through them. At any kind of speed. I mean, the thing is, we're playing against the 19th um, team in the league. So, realistically, we shouldn't lose this. But, like, our team is so fucking tragic, man. You never know what could happen. Oh, Eto's going to get there as well. Dang it, Eto. Yes, let's go. I thought he missed. I thought he missed. But let's go. Sammy Eto bags us the first goal, first goal in three minutes. You do love to see it. 
No way. Oh my god. Our defense is so bad, man. Oh, Samietto, let's go. Just using that pace just to run past these pricks. <laughs> Actually losing my head against the AIs, it's crazy. But it is just really frustrating how they play. I don't know, it's just like intentionally built to be annoying. Um, but yeah, Samietto just way, way too good. Way, way too good. Thank God uh, Cameroon isn't in any kind of international any international uh, competition at the moment anyway, because we would be fucking screwed otherwise. <laughs> Literally wouldn't have anybody. You know we're going to sweat it. You know we're going to sweat it. <laughs> Secure that goal. And also Leo Nash gets himself a goal. You do love to see it. There we go. Samuotto's through. Basically, a guaranteed goal. Well, it is. There you go. He even saved it and it still went in. Oh, it's just a guaranteed goal. Oh, Sammy Eto from there. Oh, my God. Sammy Eto, what are you doing, man? Stop it. Stop it. They're already relegation fodder. Just stop it. Bang it up to whoever that guy is. Tapia for his first goal for the club. What a banger that is. Tapia, 50 rated. Upcoming talent, to be fair. Youth, youth player as well. Absolutely bangs on the top of the net. I mean, admittedly, yeah, it is relegation fodder, this team. But still, professional footballers and all that. Professional shitballers. Oh, Kamara, let's go. Good goal. Good bit of play as well. Kamara bags the seventh. You do love to see it. I mean, the AIs, have definitely, they've definitely adapted um, to marking Eto a lot more than they probably should do. <laughs> but... Um, Still can't stop it, man. They still can't stop it. Still can't stop the Eto show as well. Just bang, look at that pace. Just it's just unstoppable, man. Just unstoppable. Okay, he he did stop it that time. Are you kidding? That would have been the eight for eight two. Oh well, never mind. We we batted them anyway. I just wanted to see how many how many goals I could score with Eto, but uh, yeah, the AI is quickly wised up to Eto just being the. Uh, the guy I was kind of passing to. But yeah, he scored, what, four goals? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Kamara, Tapia, Nash all getting on the score sheet. You love to see it. You do love to see it. And there we go. At least we didn't lose anyway. At least we didn't lose. We lost one game, which is fine. You know, we're not the Invincibles at the end of the day. That'll be for the championship. All right. So we're going to do one last game for today. It's probably, probably quite a long episode, and I do apologize. But we are going to play Gillingham. Um, get back to winning ways, playing with our insanely overpowered team. Obviously, that's how it looks. We've got uh, Gobu, goalkeeper Ferdinand, Carlito Alberto, uh, Roberto Carlos right back, Opaku, Hulit Kamara, Maradona, Zidane, Rondinho and Eusebio up top. So, given some of the new guys, a bit of a run out, see, if, uh, see how they do. Um, obviously, like I say, it's good to just rotate the players that we've got. So, we've got a few more options for Cam and all that kind of stuff. You love to see it. Good, uh, good goal by Maradona. Oh, skinned him. All right, watch this. Perfectly timed pass. You can actually get to it as well. Bang, Eusebio, let's go. Big boy, Eusebio. Bangs it in the back of the net. Six, minute in, six minutes in. First goal, you do love to see it. Oh my God. You can't even avoid the bounces, uh, the rebounds in, in career mode, man. Yeah, I'll take it, hold it. Playing the left-back role. Big ups. Oh, Zidane. Zidane from there. Bang! What a strike! <laughs> My god. There's one hell of a goal. Zidane, like... We might have to like try like Beckham, Zidane... Ronaldinho, because like just long shots galore to be honest. Absolutely insane that was. Oh Zidane. Oh Zidane. He is he is very good. Zidane is very, very good. And I mean it does reflect his like his baby card. Um and with stats and everything, but he's he's just very, very good. I think he's got like five star, five star. Which I don't know if it's accurate or if it's been upgraded or not, but like on here he's got five star, five star anyway, which is you know, it's insane. But there we go. So 3-1. Pretty comfortable, to be honest. Pretty comfortable. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to jump to a result. If we lose, we lose. But yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. 
I don't think it would change much. Um, yeah, there you go. Fair play. Yeah, I played quite a few games today. So it is a bit of a longer episode, but I do want to kind of fit more in in each episode. Um, so if you are enjoying the longer episodes, you know, hopefully you are. I don't imagine anybody's actually watching to this point, but if you are, then you're a, you're a real OG. Either way, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed another episode of uh, the most unrealistic career mode on YouTube, aka our Plymouth Idaho career mode. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. It's actually a really lot of fun playing with a lot of these icons and, um, you know, it, it's fun beating the lower, <laughs> the lower end of teams, obviously, but uh, it's an interesting prospect to when we get to, you know, the championship or the Premier League, which is the ultimate goal. And then um, possibly playing like Champions League football. We can actually make some interesting signings because hopefully by then we'll have money and also people who actually want to relocate to join our team because currently nobody does. So um, hopefully that will be the case. But yeah, interesting stuff to come. Either way, hopefully you have enjoyed today's today's episode. If you have, of course, do drop it like that'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content and you haven't already, please do consider that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.